It's ending right now. I, was, I, I started getting nervous. I'm like, uh-oh, what's going to happen? Is it still going? What's going on? There's no one in the other room. Is this the end of the song? Yeah, yeah. This is how it ends? All right, I should get to know her. That's our theme song, by the way. I love that we start. The, I love that we come waltzing in like seconds to go. Awesome. I have a bottle of wine in the car, too. Uh, beer is fine. Beer is fine. Maybe Bruce will come in and have a beer with us, too. Do you think he will? Bruce likes to partake in the... Uh, if he does, I have some medical side. questions for him. No, no, no. No, we're done with the medical no, I have side a problem. I have, to go, I have a problem. I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. So here's the, the main topic. Why are you going to the hospital tomorrow? Is this the main topic now? <laughs> no, the main thing <laughs> that we need to do is topic. figure out a goddamn name for this show. Can you ask Dr. Bruce to come in here for one minute? No, it won't be one minute. It'll be the entire show. No, it won't, because we'll and change the topic. And it will turn into a medical, and I can't even control the Dr. Feelgood song in here. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Get Bruce in here. Please. We like Bruce. I'm not really that we concerned, like to be honest with you. Um, all right. Well, first, What's the topic, though? First things first. I don't want to hear about your mosquito bite that you're freaking out about and thinking it's cancer. It's not a mosquito bite. Because uh, Mike's a hypochondriac. I am a hypochondriac. You know how you say hypochondriac in Spanish? Yes. How? El hypochondriaco. It's uh, hy- hypochondriaco. <laughs> That sounds cool. like that sounds like a fear of spiders. Hypochondriacio. So uh, the three choices so far for the for right now, what we have up there uh, is the latest disaster. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. The post love line disaster because that comes on after the love line. Tyler, did you disaster. give the thumbs up to the latest disaster or yes. after the after love line disaster? Those are the three right now. First okay. One. Can I give? Can I explain what my thinking behind this? The reason I like after love line disaster is because we get love line in there and after kind of flows more. With disaster, yeah, Mike then was post. making an um, a argument that after and disaster yeah. rhyme. Which, but, I'm not a songwriter, but i got to disagree with you there. The name I'm totally against was Anderson's original post, post-coital abortion, or whatever you want to call no, this I, show, I which would have never it, worked on iTunes. I wanted to call it the afterbirth, the after, the afterbirth uh, disaster. Oh, that, that was right. That it sounds, sounds like a Dead Kennedys album. So what are the topics now? Uh, plastic surgery disaster was the name of one of their albums. Uh, so th- th- that, that's the topic, is what, which of those three is the best. Because I'm also thinking, um, like, if it's post, post-Loveline disaster, it could be PLD. Yeah. Pulled? Post. <laughs> Post-Loveline disaster, PLD. We'll or put after, it up on our Facebook and people can let us know. Yeah, yeah. Or after Loveline disaster is ALD. Because most people don't know that this, but uh, Loveline is actually all one word. Yes, and it's you know what? That's funny because I type it as one word and people think I'm incorrect sometimes. And your computer is always saying, no, no. By the way, speaking of computers, I cannot stand the spell check in the iPhone. Can do you like this thing? I don't have a spell check. Yeah, it's built in. Really? Yeah, the spell check in the iPhone is horrific, and every time you uh, spell the F word, of course, it throws an X in there, and then it says no replacements found. Oh, the thing that pops up automatically. And yeah, yeah. 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 It's supposed to be miraculous. It this learns. fantastic spell check. It learns, and you're gonna have to turn on Bruce's mic. Bruce looks so confused and disturbed. Welcome to the I, That show. was my idea to look confusing. What's disturbing and confusing? You don't have a mic, so. And will you turn this? Go ahead. Yeah. Confusing and disturbing is seeing you in the... In the, main, in the captain's seat? Yeah. <laughs> this is true. You're going to have to go to jail, I buddy. I've never seen I have a dumb question. So uh, I've, had to, I've had really severe uh, ringing in one of my ears for a couple of years, and it got it exponentially worse in the past, like, six months. Like, like crazy where it's driving me insane. One people, second. I know that you're looking for the Bruce drops right now, Tyler. It's I don't BR. think people can... Type um, in BR. You found him? Okay. I don't think people can understand... Is like it the, tinnitus or tinnitus? I assume it's tinnitus. I don't know. But um, I'm also, I've also lost a lot of hearing in that ear, too. So finally, I decided to do something about it. Now this show's just uh, turned into a bad call. Yeah. No, I, here's, here's my, what, my question. So... I have almost no hearing in my left ear. I it's extremely loud, and uh, oh, do you want those ones? Yeah. And I'm very dizzy, and I fainted a couple times the past few weeks, and my hands are very shaky. If and, this is true, and, you're uh, going to go to jail, buddy. There it is. Not you're going to go but to the. But when I called this place, the Dr. Drew made me call, which is crazy expensive, by call. the way. He's like, go to the House Institute, and I was he like, all right. Cut. And then my girlfriend happens to be a speech pathologist, cut. and she goes, that's the best place to go. So I called them, and. Just to walk in there, it's going to it's 460 just to talk to a guy, and then the it's 150 for the hearing test. The, the, they billed me for the phone call, too, but I put Did that on my Amex. Really? It's cool. <laughs> and, then, and then the woman goes, well, we have no idea what it is, and we have, you need to come in and, and get a CAT scan. And she goes, it could be a tumor. Right. And then, it's, does that, is that something someone should tell somebody on the phone who's a well, contract? No. It, it, do you have any room spinning, sensation yes, of things big time, moving? Big time. So you have vertigo. Just, just lately, though. Just yeah, lately. Most ninety percent of the time, what you're describing ends up being a benign problem. It's not a tumor, but there's a something called a CP angle tumor that can 
in affect your balance and affect oh. your hearing. So that's bored? what they want to rule. Are out. you bored because I'm gonna my life ends tomorrow yeah, as can we, we know just it? Let's talk about your your possible tumor off there. Okay. So what you're gonna do is Oh Tyler we can't license this music. That's, I know that don't do that. He looks like what's that comedian with the big mouth? Uh the guy <laughs> I don't know. Come David on. Tell. Eddie Murphy. Look at his face. No. You know, the guy with the big mouth. The huge mouth. Uh, uh, David Brenner. Kathy Griffin. David I, Brenner. Yeah, I get Jim Carrey all the time. Jim Carrey. Oh, my what? God. No, he does not. Yes, he does. Do Every person bit. I have never met. Okay, I'm Tell leaving. Me. I've never said thank you for, for uh, making me feel worse. You want to you go out in the parking lot and smoke some weed? Uh, I have to drive home otherwise, uh, you know. <laughs> really? It makes you drive slow and safe. The car had had anal sex and I passed out a couple of times. That was yeah, I have a car bong, you know. Bong. <laughs> really? Is this, where is this going? What am I doing? It's going out <laughs> to all the listeners that were logged on the computer. It's going to at least seven or eight people. Uh, let me just give you my medical director's name and get it over. No, with. Wait, let's not do that. All right. So, you, so are you saying I should have made a better choice and not gone to that place and just gone to a regular e e uh, e n t? If you went to a regular <sighs> ER, we're going to cut to the chase. You're, t- you're asking Dr. Drew. He's an intern. If you went to a regular ER, Too much detail. five hours, right? And you learned some Spanish uh-huh. while you were there in the waiting room. I got yelled at for not speaking Spanish today. Yeah. Yelled or just... No, I had a patient's I wife. <laughs> oh, oh, I was going to say, who has angry. the balls to yell at a doctor about not speaking Spanish? You uh, you got to assimilate. Your That's lower on the level of hard things to do. You got to assimilate can dial the interpreter i know i want to speak spanish i just yeah. can't i have a dead or you could pro- or you could just move about uh 500 miles away no it's happening there t- all right bruce <laughs> thank you for coming Adios. in here hito bruce hito bruce they're ripping in the terror i'm a pedophile wow i forgot i had I that never one. said that <laughs> i'm a pedophile apparently that's true <laughs> i'm a pedophile not that's you. not me that is you <laughs> I'm leaving. My See you inner, later. Fun. My inner child We're going to we're gonna talk about your daughters as soon as you leave. My inner so child. It would be best if you... We are? You, were, yeah. you raped we're totally my inner child. Oh, right. I'll avoid this behavior in the future. <laughs> um, every, everything, all that being said, uh, Bruce is my favorite doctor, including Drew. Uh, out of all the doctors we ever have in here, Bruce is my favorite. Because uh, I'm the most codependent. Drew even said that I am more codependent than he is. Is that why you, uh, with you a like chuckle. me? Is that why? Is that why you're always so nice? It's just you're feeding your own codependence? I, all right. You're feeding your own paranoia right now. All right. All right, guys. I'm totally insecure that you guys left me out of the conversation, so who's the worst? It's all It's all cocaine. It's, it's all you know, cocaine. because you're paranoid doesn't mean you're... It doesn't mean, doesn't it's not, doesn't mean they're not after you. you. That's right. <laughs> See you later, thanks. Yeah. yeah, but Bruce is... Uh, if I had to drink a beer with, with one of our doctors, it'd be Bruce. An anal Superman. He's an anal... The all right, buddy. You want a beer for the road? You want a Brody? No? All right. <laughs> Notice how I said if I had to drink a beer with a doctor. I think he really so, probably does have a ball. Oh, I'm sure he does. I I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked at all. So, oh, he's still here because we got to talk about his daughters. What? What do you mean we're going to talk about his daughters? Uh, we're going to tell stories about his daughters. I don't know any stories. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> you totally do. <laughs> does he know that one story about his daughter? I don't even know what you're talking the about. You, the one you were telling me earlier. Well, he was on air. It's now not a bad not story, leave. and it's not sexual. It's just it can be considered sexual. No, it's it, not. It has to do with the internet. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> All right, Bruce. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bruce doesn't even have any biological daughters. You know, it's not his biological. I know, daughter, so it's okay. Yeah, it's all right that you banged. He told me that actually. They're not really. A, uh, no, I was kind of buzzed, and I, I I walked up to Dr. Bruce in Ontario, and introduced myself. In Ontario, uh, beautiful Canada. And then I love I sent, that great white. Then I sent the other doctor a text, and I said, "I'm talking to your nemesis," and he called me back in seconds. Doctor Drew. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's not my doctor. nemesis. He's my friend. <laughs> and I told Doctor Bruce, and he goes, "We're both very codependent." And very quick on the draw with the texting when somebody, like, oh, man. So what was that, Tyler? You had something to add. I said that Mike was a name dropper, once again. I am a name dropper. But he actually said that doctor. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know what, I realized after last week I got to stop doing that. Because I don't do it in regular life, I only did it in here. You know, I told this story of last week's episode uh, to numerous people, when I say numerous. How many? Probably three. And uh, I said, "This this is the show. Uh, so far, it starts off with Mike saying, here's what I don't want the show to be. I don't want it to be me telling stories from my past and, you know, just going uh, off on tangents. Flash forward, I'm not, uh, not even 30 seconds, 20 seconds later. He's saying, you know what that reminds me? Mike's saying, that reminds me of a story. This is, I'm in fourth grade, see? And he starts going see? off. See? <laughs> you see? I'm in fourth grade, see? And that's, that was. Hey, cop, huh? That's what happened. I just, on the way over here, I, um, I felt like I left too early. 
and I was going to get here like a little bit too early. Tyler and I were suggesting that this might be a possibility. What's that? That you're outside like circling like a block. I you didn't swear. Too no, eager. well, I was on the phone with a friend of mine, and um, I left too early. A friend. Well, my plan was to split from Miranda's house, bolt down to the Improv, say hi to a couple of friends that were down there. I'm not going to name drop, but um, who are the names? They're, they're famous people you wouldn't know. Tom Cruise. You've never met them. Um, no, it's actually people you do know. Doug Benson and some a couple of other good guys. Oh, yeah. But, uh, the great Rob Riggle. Doug Benson was the first ever guest on my other podcast. Harlan Williams. Vault. Yeah. He was, he was a guest, and he was high when he was on the show. Is that weird? <laughs> really? Yeah. Shocker. He's high right now. I guarantee it. Let's and he call liked him right me now. very much because I was telling him how much uh, better I thought Super Jaime was, uh, the, the Jewish super... movie that he made about, uh, about Jewish people, than uh, Super Size Me. So uh, I was driving down here, uh, and I, I thought it was too early, and I did circle the place. Not this. I didn't circle this place. We What's have a that? caller. What on is that sound effect? That's Tyler throwing callers. Oh, uh, I dig it. So yes. Did, did, did you hang up on him? Oh, they hung up on us. So you were on. I was driving down here, and I decided to stop at that bowling alley down on uh, Venice. Venice, yeah, and if that's a rad little it's a bowling alley. Little joint. It closes way too early. Okay, well here's the dealio with that place. I Don't cruised in there, and then I figured, oh, I just took a picture of the bowling alley, and I ran to the bar to grab a drink, and there was this. Uh, bartender is super gay, and the, the there's one. Alley? Yeah, there's a bar in the bowling alley, but not inside. It's separate. It's really cool. You would, you would dig this yeah, place. Yeah, it's like stuck in the '80s, right? Yeah, yeah. I was in there. So, uh, really gay bartender and really, really hot Indian girl sitting at the bar alone, and she just the minute I ordered a drink, she just went off like flirty wise with me about I love Jägermeister. Oh my God, you're the perfect. Wait, Tuesday. she loves what? Wednesday night I ordered a shot of Jägermeister, and she oh, just she's like I love Jäger, and she was very hot. And being a typical. Uh, Loser. Well, technically, I have a girlfriend, so I shouldn't flirt with her, but uh, I just ignored her completely and walked out. And I got out of my car. I was like, that was weird that I just totally chilled some super hot if you think girl she's sitting there? at a bar. I hope so. I should have told her we're going to talk about her on the show, and then maybe she'll listen. <laughs> we could have. That's like, that'd be like a 20% upgrade. Um, that would be awesome. I, I, I have nothing to add to your Indian woman story. Hey, line, uh, line six, how are you? Hello, line six. Who are you calling for, buddy? It doesn't matter who you're calling for. Tyler, you push the buttons. I hate that hang-up noise. Jesus. You push the buttons incorrectly. Hey, you get, hey how get, are you? Ah, pretty good. I wanted to suggest a name for the show. Hey, look at that. Groovy. What would you like to suggest? Too Damn Late. Too Damn Late. Because all the other late-night shows have the, like, the up late. and tonight yeah, That's not show, too bad. You know, the late show. Hey, we and should call this a tonight show. Yeah, we, should, <laughs> we should call it Somebody tonight. might have a problem with that. Yeah, the first and only tonight show. So it's different. That might be good. But I was also thinking, you know, all the love line callers, especially those that listen on K Rock, where it plays from uh, midnight to two. Right. You know, there's so many called up. Yeah, I do too, late, guys. Long show. Yeah. Uh, That's who a lot of the people that are calling in right now are. They're calling. They're drunk and they're in LA driving around. Well, I don't know if they're driving. Oh, is that what around. it is? Well, a lot of them. But I mean, also, about half of them are, are actually listening on the internet, like this guy. That's awesome. Thank you for listening, by the way. So yeah, no, absolutely. Good and, stuff. and do you have any uh, do you have any problems that you would like to lay on Mike so that he can realize that his problems aren't as bad as yours? My I have a brain tumor, by the way, so try to beat that. <laughs> that's what Bruce told me. Oh wow, me. that's that's pretty tough to beat. Well, I don't I know if I, I don't know if I have it yet. I don't you know. know. You have one testicle? Yeah, I got that going on. What happened? Oh, torsion. It sucked. Oh my God! So testicular uh, strangulation you had? Yeah, basically. And oh my God! It's one of my biggest week. fears. Oh my <laughs> God! Seriously, that is what testicular. Oh my God! That's here, here's the here's the two things I don't ever want to hear in my entire life. If I wake up outside in, in an ambulance or something, which is uh, uh, testicular contusions and penile lacerations, and I know that's not what you have, but those are the scariest four words together that I you know I just have this fuck this friggin' nightmare where I wake up in the One. a gutter and there's an ambulance driver standing over me. Oh my God! You just gave me a stomachache. I'm gonna loosen up my shorts right now, literally, because. I am so scared of testicular strangulation yeah. that I, honest to God, I tuck my balls in every single night when I go to bed so they're like even, like, and one's bigger than the other, so there's always a fight, and I have to... In- oh. Okay, I've heard enough. My no, I'm, I'm being totally serious. This is a very serious problem. But did you did you just wake up, and you had been sleeping wrong, and then it uh, happened? Yeah, uh, I woke up uh, in the morning, and one was uh, the size of a racquetball, just uh, grotesquely I don't huge. play sports, but... uh. Uh, it's pretty big. It's bigger than a golf ball. Wow. Holy <laughs> crap. So, so uh, I drove to the uh, ER, you know, right the F away. Nice. What city and, are you in? Uh, what's up? What city are you in? Uh, San Diego. Oh, perfect. Because I, I, I was going to say, I want, it, would be, it would suck if that happened and you were, li- were living on a farm three hours from a hospital. No, 10 minutes. I'm at the ER. 
uh, I go to the triage nurse and I say, I have a problem uh, with my junk. And I, I explain it. And then I go straight to FM to see. I mean, there's people that are, like, bleeding and, you know, there's, like, babies in there. But, nope, I go straight in the back. And the doctor proceeds to say, oh, you probably have a gonorrhea or chlamydia. Oh, that, that makes me feel better. So, so immediately they had to go into surgery and they just took that one ball out? No, not at all. He didn't believe me when I suggested that it might be torsion. He says, oh my God. you probably have gonorrhea or chlamydia. Well, there's something more important. Here have some antibiotics and some painkillers and call it a All right. Well, let me, let, me, let me change the topic to something more interesting. Uh, which yeah. part of San Diego do you live in? No, that's not uh, North County, Poway. Oh, because I live in PB. Oh, nice. It's pretty, pretty nice. Some of there. the time. Two days a week. Mike, does your fear of testicular torsion mean that you've never done the uh, the water faucet with your wiener? I don't know what that is. That's when you take your balls and you twist them so they're on top of your nuts. On yeah, you know, your I've dong, and then you twist them. As yeah, if you're I'm a I'm, the I'm embarrassed to admit I've never done the water never faucet. Never done the water faucet. That's too, hey, too yeah, Tyler. Funny. I you know what? I we should call and wake up my girlfriend right now because she can testify to this that I have to put I mash That's pillows fun. between my legs when I go to sleep. I don't want anything squashing my genitals or my penis i don't want any pressure put on it that's undue i don't want it to hang there i don't want anything i want it i i want it basically in a state of suspension like it's in outer space do you do you wear a cup when you go out in public? no but I, i've have considered that, that? i yes i can i think about that every single day yeah but sometimes the cup smashes them. no it's i don't want a hard of what you want i want a i want a like 50 a cup that's like 50 percent protective so it's still comfortable if i could wear underwear that were made out of like teflon or something so it, was, it would protect me i would do that I can, i'm not even joking i'm very very scared and th this is also due to a trauma i had when i was a little kid and uh i was uh, oh god i don't want to tell the story but i'm going to i was uh no it's not whatever i don't give a crap that guy just talked about his torsion balls is he still on the phone by the way because it's, it's a lot yeah. of noise okay um i was running with a croquet mallet when i was like eight or nine but the stick had broken off you know what a croquet mallet is? Like oh, there's absolutely. a big hammer on one side, and then the other it's side the, is a wooden stick. It's the gay pretentious sport. Yeah, but but I had broken the stick off, <laughs> so it was a sharp. Wear a sweater vest. It was like a giant splinter. The one the st the handle part was just a splinter, and I was running with it, and it caught on a sprinkler head and literally speared my testicles. Oh my god! Okay, that was when I was like seven or eight, and I still have trauma <sighs> thinking about that. I have trauma. I don't like to hear things like that. I got like shivers up my ass now. Great. Thank you. Portion is a very real problem. I, I know. I, I know. Oh, no, thanks, trust thanks me. Thanks for calling, man. What was I'm your gonna, name? Uh, Jason. Thank thanks, you, Jason. Jason. Thank you for listening to you. I'm going to get one of those um, hemorrhoid donuts. Are you from the Save Jason on? guy that loves the penguins that talks to me on Twitter? No, no. not the same guy. All right, buddy. You should have said yes. No, because then that call would have gone on and on and on. And I, I'm no going to do that. I just about. came up with an Ooh, idea. Krista, our new phone screener, who uh, yeah. is a, it's a pretty uh, nice young lady. Yes, she's pretty. She, I, I, I learned on her way out that she's a big pisser. I know you did. I saw. We're going to have a lot I to talk about. I saw the boner. I'm going to look forward to Wednesday. I Wednesdays. saw the problems in your future marriage <laughs> right before my eyes. <laughs> We're going to be doing that? uh, this. That's a hockey puck going, oh. off, going off the post. Is, the it, post. Is, is it as loud going out over the web as it is in my ears right now? No, you that was like twice as loud as us. Tumor, remember? Yeah. Oh, that's better. That's nice. <laughs> No, yeah, she. Level. That was. Uh, you know what? That was weird. That was she, great, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, what a coincidence. Huh? All right, that'll do. Talking about Malkin and Crosby, and uh, I, I'm going to look forward to Wednesdays and Thursdays, not only because of this show, but because uh, we're going to have the, the wonderful Krista in here, and I can yep. talk, I can talk puck with her all. Is she here every single night? Long. I, Wednesdays and Thursdays. That's why I'm specifying Wednesday and Thursdays as. Is the other girl still here? Up. Yeah, Sadie. We got the gamut of girls, and then Derek right in the middle. Who's, who's we that? We got Sadie. Who is like, she looks like she's just walking straight out of some kind of uh, uh, rockabilly magazine. Absolutely. Sadie is like 23 years old. She comes in her pajamas, but you can tell that it took her three hours to put them oh, together. Oh, yeah. She comes in her pajamas. And sometimes she comes in made up to, I guarantee, I guarantee it three took hours. an hour and a half. To, I, yeah, at least. Yeah. At least. To the hilt. Giant hair, but she's covered in tats and everything, it's, which makes her and really we're in sexy. Yeah. It's bizarre. But yeah. uh, we like her I like very her. much. I, I, then, I kind of love her, actually. Did you guys like some uh, name suggestions that have been coming in? Yeah. A lot of people have said, uh, I put the options A, B, C, and a lot of people said D, they all suck. Wow. Um, I had uh, a couple other options. There was a plan B was one. Mm. Um, someone had uh, the morning after. Mm. Both, of, both of those are going to make and me then cry because I bought them Duran both. And Duran Duran song. Yeah. Uh, Save a prayer. That's actually the only after. two so far. Have you uh, ever bought a morning after pill? Um, I have one on file just in case. I used to. It's probably expired. Did you now. get it from Dr. Drew? No. I don't get jack from that guy. I don't either. Yeah, I don't ask for anything. Actually, no. He gives me a ton of Nicorette. 
which I chew while I'm smoking my cigarettes hey, now. Can I put this out real quick? It's awesome. This is what I'm looking to score some oxycodone. If somebody wants to Twitter me, if you can sell me some. I don't know if that's really what the <laughs> show is for. What are you doing? <laughs> really? You can get it down in Mexico. No, I'm not 50, going to Mexico. 50 bucks a pill. Hey, I had a prescription. $50 a, a pill, Mike. No, it's not. Yeah, down in Mexico. Hey, I is. just got a prescription for it, and it was I got I got 14 pills for $28, and then I called a friend of mine who's a drug dealer, and I go, I need some more of these, and he goes, they're 40 bucks each. And I went, that's ridiculous. I got them at, it, at CVS for, uh, I got 14. Yeah, because you're like in the system, and that, that way you're like, you know, buying from the appropriate drug dealers, the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> when you're buying them on the street, of course, there's going to be a markup. I, I, what I'm saying is I if like you, you actually use the cough button, that was cute. If you had some kind of a root canal and you have some left over, I'll buy them from you. So we're going to call this show the uh, afterbirth disaster, right? <laughs> yeah, afterbirth. It doesn't even sound like a hockey hit. Yeah, would you stop playing that? It bugs. I hate I was, it. You know what I was thinking about today, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Do you guys, so we talked. We talked about what the show's going to be, and um, you're going to write down some stories or things that happened to you throughout the week. And, and come. I didn't do it though. Yeah, sorry, I'm shocked at that. Well, here's this the is shocking. Do you believe this, Tyler? Well, I'll tell you what happened. He didn't today. do this. We had a plan last week in this parking no, lot. No, when I was driving to, to LA, here's what I here's a, con- a weird conclusion I came to, and this might, might might not make any sense, especially since you guys are younger than me. But um, do you guys ever? I'm being serious, by the way. There's no bit here. Do you ever like hate your rearview mirror because it's clogging up part of your? view out the window a little bit like sometimes it just makes me really mad that it's there but then i appreciate the fact that i can see what's behind me i appreciate the safety aspect but then i just get more and more pissed i'm like oh what the f- why don't well, they, they fucking- have they have those cars with the little screens in the middle and you can just with the camera yeah but you, you i don't like know if that's uh, i think you legally have to have a rear mirror yeah well laws are so bad. i was thinking yeah. about that and then it reminded me of and i brought this up at the office today but nobody seemed to know what i was talking about do you guys remember tyler you're way too young but in the 70s and 80s, they had late night TV ads for these sunglasses that were like giant blue sunglasses. Blockers? They weren't blue blockers, but they went, they extended past so your head. People? And no, there were little mirrors in the sides so you could look to your left or your right and see who's behind you. You want to get that for and the they car? Show, no, they showed the videos. And I remember, I was thinking about that today. I'm like, somebody has had to have heard of these or seen these things. And all I kept thinking was, it's not even a secret that you're looking at the dude behind you because <laughs> due to the laws of nature, the physics... You know, you they, all, they see, see your eye looking right at you from like three feet ahead. Mike, so it's a horrible friggin' idea. I'm going to need you to write down things that happened throughout the week. I know. I, I meant to. I'm so sorry. It was a stressful week. <laughs> My tumor is causing me to not remember anything. <laughs> I, oh, here's what I did write down. No, I didn't write this down. No, she's got it. Yeah? <laughs> Hi. Oh, that wasn't... I'm going to put it... What did you write down, Mike? I think I wrote it in my phone. Oh, this is going to be really... This is going to be edgy, what I say. Hello. Nope. You, you were on the air. What's happening? What's up? What's Nothing. going on? Wait, hold on. I Hold on. I have a new catchphrase. Every week I have a new catchphrase. And this one, I'm going old school. And I mean old, really old school with hip, hip, hooray. Every time someone calls. <laughs> super Is that gay. what you wrote on your phone? Is that what you just looked up? <laughs> no, I looked Please up. don't no, tell no, me that's what you wrote no, on your see phone. What I look, no, no, I'll show you later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, did, I made a note of something I wanted to talk about tonight. Oh my God! Thank you. You guys both got us. I got you guys gifts, and you got me gifts. Tyler got us nothing. Actually, no, he got the beer. So we all got. Can I have the guy with the cape? Well, you guys can. You guys what can. What did fight I get? Over. Oh you my got God! A voodoo doll. It's, I got you guys voodoo. It's dolls. a voodoo, little voodoo mini doll. voodoo doll. It's freaking yeah. awesome. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, I'm obsessed with those. What things, was really. what was this call about here? Uh, what were you calling about, man? Hello. Yeah. Hi, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. I'm I was calling in regards of. Uh, I have, I have my lady, and uh, she she's pregnant and everything. And is, it, is it your wife? Is it your wife or your girlfriend? No, she's just my girlfriend. We're 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 uh, we're engaged. Yeah. But um, so How old are you? I'm calling, huh? How old are you? Me, I'm 27. Uh, Perfect. I think he's like 15. Yeah. So what's the what's so what's going down? Yeah. The the thing is that um um she has some hot ass friends and you know, I mean they're throwing signals that I'm right up my alley you know and yeah. uh, it's it's getting difficult you know. Did you say they're all in my- Miami? Huh? They're right up his Nothing. Um, you know, it is going to be difficult, but uh, I don't know. The choice is yours. Do you want to be an a hole or do you want to be an, a good guy? I've been hearing that a lot on this show lately, and uh, uh, I, I want to be a good guy. Hey, it's not. Know, by the way, it's not only you that's tempted. All of us are. I mean, trust me. The girl that just left here. I'm sure all three of us would have had sex with her, yeah, and all three really, of us are in a relationship. Really my type. No. Uh-uh. No. I mean, I mean, we wouldn't have. She, Sorry, if my girlfriend's too. listening. I'm saying if. 
I, I mean, I, there, I, all I do all day is look at girls and think about I'd have sex with her. I wouldn't have sex with her. That's all I no, do but he's all saying day. It's, it's her friends, and that's that's a bit of a yeah. problem if it's like friends that are hanging out. You're going out to dinner with your girlfriend, and they're there as well. And I like to, maybe I only dated girls with really ugly friends. So you got to date yeah. the hottest one, and then you're, you you can. But she's cool. Your like girlfriend's that. cool, right? Yeah, no, she's she's really cool. Um, well, you know I mean, you, her, her friends are a little bit more uh, eccentric. You know what I mean? They're, they're out there, you know, throwing signals like a river. Like a river. I know, but you know what? Means Here's the thing. I, I'm gonna this. I, I don't. I don't know her, so I, I, I'm this. I may not have the answer to this, but here's what I suspect is happening. Uh-huh. Um, her friends are protecting her interests and just testing the waters to see what kind of dude you are. No. Yeah, I totally think I so. I really don't think that's. I, the case I, though. I told girls are really protective of each other. And they're really catty uh, as well. Yeah, but I mean, I, I could easily. I know catty. that's true, but I could easily see them just. Maybe they're just horny, hot, catty. Maybe chicks. they're single and your girl's not, and that's why yeah. she put on like ten pounds. But, but I promise you, if anything happens with one of her friends, they're going to run to her immediately. Promise. Oh you. no, and I, and I agree, totally agree. You know, I mean, that's the reason I haven't done anything. Usually, when they throw signals at me, I just turn the other way. And he hey, hasn't done anything. Hey, can I um, test. can I recommend a name for your child? Ah, uh, what is it? Frodo. What is it? Go with Frodo. Frodo. Very unique. <laughs> um, how about Miracle? Miracles Miracle? in this bitch. Uh, how about this? What's your last name? Uh, Lopez. Okay, how about this? Larry Diablo. Then it'll be El Diablo Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> that one sounds pretty That was a friend right? of mine's idea for my brother and his wife to name their baby Larry Diablo. I love it. Just go with yeah. Miracle. Yeah. Don't bang your uh, girlfriend's friends. Yeah, don't do it. What a non like non problem that guy had. It's, hey, my, it's such my a girlfriend non-problem. has hot friends. Yeah. What do I do? Shut up. Yeah, well, but uh, not only that, you, what, you can't tell people what to do. Like I don't know. What am I going to say? Like call me every time you're horny, and I'll try to talk you out of it. I would say that, but if it was a chick, I don't know, if he's 27 and I know he's, he's 27, friends, <clears throat> I think it's a problem. If we were going to put money on whether that relationship lasts, I'm going with a uh, thousand on no. I'm lucky that uh, the girl that I, I may or may not marry, depending on. She she does a lot of drugs and I'm thinking she's gonna get off those drugs soon. Her doctor is actually weaning her off the drugs and it's my guess that when she's off those drugs, she's going to reevaluate her life, and the wedding will not take place. I'm being serious. <clears throat> God, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah, that was it's all right. really depressing. It's, okay. it's kind of funny, actually. But I'm lucky. Uh, one, I'm very unlucky if her friends were listening. Uh, B, I'm very lucky that her friends are all fucking beat and ugly, and I, I have no temptation at all because they're, they're the heinous. I think right there you did they're, too. That was. I don't think their friends are listening for starters, but uh. Oh, good. Why even? They're uh, as as Mike sa- would say, they're bush pigs. I wouldn't as, say that. As psycho Mike, I don't say, insult are, women like bush that. Bush pigs. No, her friends are. Just, I uh, I never insult women, and then I go right hippies. to the c word. They're it's hippies. like nothing negative, and then all of a sudden this f and c word in front You're of all me. Nothing, Mike. Word. That's what I appreciate. About you. Okay, so here's what I here's what I did write down on my phone. Um, this says this. There's nothing. Hip hip hooray! Please don't. No, know I wrote says. down. Uh, so hip hip hooray! Here's what I wrote down. <laughs> Is I thought, what if you're the only white guy working at the Fubu factory? For one, that would be very tense and very uncomfortable. <laughs> and then I, and then that made me think of when I, as I was driving up here today, I started thinking of what gets because apparently I'm on my man period Fubu right now. Fubu for you, very young people, is uh, a clothing company from like what early 2000s. It's still around, and it's uh, yeah, it was for it was, us by us. Yes, made predominantly uh, by by the black community. <laughs> by pre- predominantly, he means 100. percent Yes. However, there's a lot of dumb white dudes at war, and that's yeah. kind of why yeah. it's not around anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But it, Which is such a weird ironic. Yeah, yeah. Fubu was dead when uh, my senior year of high school. Uh, my English teacher, Mr. McCowan, was reading to us from like the uh, Chaucer, Canterbury Tales, and I looked down and uh, his socks were Fubu socks. Oh, that's great. And I interrupted. And I said, "Hey, Mr. McCowan, just right in the middle of his reading, why are you wearing Fubu socks?" Yeah, and but he was a brother, right? No. Yeah, Mr. McCowan. Yeah, there's no. a lot of slave owning, super, owning, super owners white McCowan. guy. He uh, yeah. was like, "Oh, what? They were like two dollars a pair in the bargain bin." That's wow. When, that's when Fubu died. No, I think they were already dead. That's why they're in the bargain bin. You got to do the math there, Tyler. So here's I'm on my period right now, my man period, mm-hmm. and uh, I was it real w- bloody and- at like midnight. It's a it's a mess, man. <laughs> I just jammed tampons in my armpits all over the place. I don't know where I'm trying to catch the blood from, but uh, I uh, I watched Pretty in Pink last night, and I just bawled my friggin' eyes out. Oh my god! So, but here's the point of all this. Really? So ducky I started. Makes you cry. So I started think not ducky. But she's so hot, and they all make fun of her. All the you mean. know, I was in a room uh, a couple weeks ago with her, and I had no idea who, really? who it was. Was I it over was, at actually, I was kinda Yeah, and I was kind of uncomfortable thinking, who is this strange-looking orange-haired woman? Was she attractive? She looked scared. 
Yeah. It was weird. She has that permanent. Like, she's not scared, but she doesn't, you know, those people are kind of like Zach yeah. Galifianakis has that. No, not Zach Galifianakis. Zach Efron yeah. has that, like, yeah. I'm surprised look all the time. Yeah. She has that I'm scared look all the time. But, uh, no, I love Molly Ringwald. I love her of old. Zach Efron always has that, like, you want me to do what? <laughs> Galifianakis is so awesome. Galifianakis is awesome, but I was talking about So then I saw, and I don't Efron. know how to put this into words. I didn't think this through very clearly, but I started thinking about the stuff that gets me the most emotional. And this isn't something that gets me the most emotional, but this is maybe the most pathetic character trait of my entire personality, okay. or my or the racism. This issue. is big too because you you claim to have a lot. Yeah, of no, that. but I'm talking about as far as racism goes. Like I always think about, oh, I'm pathetic for thinking that. I'm pathetic for thinking this. Like what? What's an example? Well, what what always gets me choked up to the point where I feel like crying is any movie where either an old black guy or an old white guy comes to realize they're not racist and like the old black guy helped the young white kid or the old white guy helps the young black guy and i'm always like eh, we're all the same eh. and it remind what reminded me of it was i heard a black guy say to his son let's go home i heard a black guy say to his son like a month ago let's go home and make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and i was like we're all the same they, no they, racial bigotry they like here. white food <laughs> peanut butter and jelly I just assume peanut food. butter and jelly is the whitest food, and I, I haven't had it in, like, years and years and years, but it just seems like a white food, doesn't a, it? A white food is the fluffer nutter, which is just peanut butter and Miracle Whip. I don't know what that is. Bread. Yeah. It's really good, actually. And, and also, the, this goes... Butter, what's it called? The, the fluffer, fluffer nutter? nutter. I wish I wouldn't have said it. It's amazing, dude. Really? That's the name Where of the show. Where do you get it? Where do you get... I don't know. You Where do you get... Miracle Whip and peanut butter and bread. Get, I don't uh, want peanut butter uh, and jelly sandwiches. Have you I ever bought one of those? Yeah, yeah. Like, I bought, you bought a peanut butter and jelly yeah, sandwich. That's yeah. the ultimate yeah. lazy maneuver. No, no. They sell them at Costco. Like ten years ago, they're uh, they're they're crustables, and the crust is cut off, and you put them in the freezer, and they defrost. Honestly, fifteen minutes, and they're great. <laughs> Flutter they're enough, great. Is that what it's called? I'll make. I'll bring flutter fluffer nutters for next week. We'll I don't like. Nutter? I don't. I don't want the name fluffer, fluffer in this show. No, we're calling the show fluffer. No, I don't like fluffer. The fluffer nutter. nutter. <laughs> so you and I are the fluffer nutters. Fluffer nutter man. What was the name of that? I'm the nutter. You're what the was it last week? Man treat. Wait, man they call them fluffer nutters. Is it? Is that really? Is it? Is it? That's what my grandma called them. My so step grandma. It's not what I'm thinking because it sounds like the fluffer. Which is the bread makes the nutter, which is the cum, which is the mayonnaise. It's a horrible, filthy sandwich. You hear what I'm saying? I hate the name. Fluffer Nutter. I hate the name. Well, you got to love it because it's now the name Fluffer of the show. Nutter. Welcome to Fluffer Nutter. <laughs> I'm Anderson. That's Mike uh, Carano. You're talking. You're you're on Fluffer Nutter Radio. <laughs> Is it Fluffer Nutter or Fluffer Nutter? <laughs> and our and our listeners will be Fluffer Nadiacs. Fluffer Nutter X. Oh Fluffer, yeah, Fluff and then you know what? This this is our. Fa- I hate when people do that. This they is take, our like, fail. Your love line, your love line said, that. "Your love liners, all our our crazy love line fans are love linesers." Oh, gay. Hey, gay. what is that? What's the name of that drink that uh, ICP drinks? Fan uh, Fago. Fago, Fago. Yeah, my friend told me a, fi- a good story about that a couple of days ago, but I'll save that for off the air. Let's talk about Dr. Hey, that's a joke, like by the we, way. Like we <laughs> promised. Yeah, we have a really good story, but I'll save it for off the air. Let's go back to what the fuck. Let's talk. Sorry, sorry. Let's talk about Dr. Bruce's daughter like we were planning on doing. It's All right. a very funny story. Dr. Bruce has a number of daughters, as far as I can tell, floating around out there from, from previous marriages, um, most of which are not blood-related to him, such as the two that I know uh, wellest. I don't, I don't want to repeat the story. Not going I already na- told you. We're not, gonna, we're not going to name their names. Okay, but I don't want to tell that story. Well, I can't tell that story? God damn it. I don't want to. Wait. Uh, I'm being Is it told you could be arrested for the rape? No, I don't want to hurt. I don't, it, it's, it's not a bit. She didn't do anything wrong, and I was just telling a story about her. And can, uh, you can tell it so it's vague enough that there's a good chance she might listen to this. No, there's not. She's she not she listen. does listen to she shows listen like to this. this. No. Uh, uh, her dad was just in here 45 minutes ago. There is a better chance than not that she's going to listen to this. Well, she knows about the story because she was there. That's what makes it so hilarious. I'm being told that a fluffer nutter in sub out the Miracle Whip and put in marshmallow cream. So then hmm. I don't know what the thing I eat is. Let's, we have to eat one of those then. The thing I make is amazing. You can put bananas, too, in it if you want. There's a reason I don't want to tell the story, and I'll explain it to you afterwards, and you'll understand completely. Fine. Because I, 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 I gave a much nicer version to you guys. Well, you could have even done a nicer one for uh, the ten people listening. No, but I'm saying, if I tell, if I... Wow. It was way more uncomfortable than I could tell you right now. <laughs> All right, how about you tell the story that you told, I think, off air when you're on uh, the film vault. All right. Which, which uh, was it? <laughs> there was many funny things that happened on that show. Uh, off air? Yeah, a lot of it was off air. I think it was on air when the owner of all the improvs came and knocked on yeah. the door when we were in the conference Douche room bag. working. Wow, he might be listening. 
no chance. Anyways, and you and so you, yeah, you really think Mike gets listening? up to leave. He leaves the the little uh, conference desk that we're doing our show the, uh, the the podcast on, and he goes to answer the door. And then he comes back like thirty seconds later. He goes, uh, "We say, who is that, Mike?" And he says, uh, "That was the the owner of all the improvs." And he's not happy. He's not a happy guy. He wanted the conference room, and I was like, I, "I'm using it." Oh, you lied to me. What? You're like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, there's nothing to do with us and what we're doing right here. I know. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> feel like you're uncomfortable. He had a meeting plan, and they ended up doing it down in the club. I don't care. Oh, Mike. I don't care. Corona. I got to start calling you Corona because it's too confusing. No, yeah, do no. people still think that you're psycho, Mike? The story is, yeah, so, yes, and do yes, you still thank, yes, you, thank yes. them for... I never do. I, I send them a logical explanation. I go, I go, thanks. I appreciate that, but that's not me. I go, this is me. That, the psycho Mike is someone else. And they never respond back like, oh, that's my mistake. It's always this weird... That's like the wrong number thing. Isn't yeah. it weird how people like human nature and it's just like, I'm always extra nice if someone gets the wrong number. Hey, Anderson, Every single they have time. your number. Of course I'm going to be nice. I go... I, I always say How no. How many times it's, have it's you the been wrong, on the other end though, where you? Well, they just hang up, and you're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I have the wrong number." Click. Yeah, yeah. And then I want to go. All right, I'm gonna. I don't do it though, but I want to call them back like 40 times. I have a great story. Go Wait on me. Back, uh, when, but it's all about crank calling, and uh, it all started. <laughs> hip hip hooray! I was helping my friend uh, move, and his name was Vern, and Vern uh, and his dad left to get us Vern. lunch. And we're in a Tyler's uh, hero from last week. We're in his apartment that he was in the townhouse that he was moving out of. His dad and I were moving out of completely barren, empty as, as can be. Nothing in there except for a rotary phone plugged in. And we were waiting, starving. My friends and I were waiting for like an hour uh, for the food. They weren't coming back. So we just started calling random numbers. Was it pizza? I don't remember what the food was. But uh, we started calling ran- random numbers saying, hey, is Vern there? Thinking it was hilarious because we're jackass like 14-year-old kids. Uh, they're like, no, you have the wrong number. No, you have the wrong number. No, you're the wrong number. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> no, we have no fun here, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. It was gold. The number was, I can't give the number out, but I remember the number. It, it ended with 2222 two, 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 because we were jackass kids and we couldn't even <laughs> dial creatively. So I remember the number. I gave it to all my friends. My one best friend and I, we called that number for nine years. That's fantastic. And we heard a little girl in that house grow up. She got older and older. They and never was, changed the number? And no, and they had thick, thick accents, like from the Middle East. And they would give us gold like this, like, oh, yes, Vern, he's here. He's in the back, and he's fucking Joe Mother with his 10-inch cock, you <laughs> motherfuckers. So we would call it all that's, times of the night. Now that is a, that's the greatest sound drop I've ever heard from you right there. However, I thought we were going to stop swearing. I know, we're not supposed to cuss. We we uh, we would write his number up on like truck stops because we we tr- do a lot of road trips. We would call him from strange little towns, collect because back then you could you, kids you don't know about this, but you would call collect on pay phones. Yeah, and then they'd have to accept the charges, so they'd say or they or they wouldn't. So we, no, but we knew he would because we call him collect. If you answer, if you accept the collect charges, you get a bill with the phone number yeah. the person was calling from. So uh, they say, will you accept a collect call from Vern? And he goes, yes. And then he goes, I got you now, motherfuckers. But we're at a payphone, like in the middle of Idaho or so something. Great. <laughs> but I had some long philosophical, philosophical uh, conversations with uh, one of the younger gentlemen that lived in that house. It was really sad, too, looking back on it, because sometimes the, uh, the oldest guy that would answer the phone would beg and plead that we stop calling because his wife was sick, or so he would say. He'd also say that my mom was being banged by the fictitious Vern in the back room, so I'm not sure that that was true. <laughs> but the best part is, in retrospect, realizing that the little girl, she was like two, she was like a baby crying in the background, and we heard her year in, year out uh, get older You and know older. what this sounds like? A Werner Herzog documentary. God, I wish we were rolling These two guys. These <laughs> and, you know, my friend who, uh, who's gone on to be somewhat of a, su- a successful lawyer and uh, businessman and computer nerd, well, even way back when, this is probably like in the early 90s, he had the computer savvy to take that phone number and figure out their address and figure out like, their taxes. So you're going to show up there now with Vern signs? We, we sent a couple postcards to Vern to the house. And we oh, wanted man. to show up to the door, but we never had the balls to do Man. Door. But... That's my that's my crank calling story. Yeah, I, I don't have the balls to do crank calls because I just can't. I fall apart. Like if it's, I don't know, I can't do it. I'm not one for, but it, before you had iPhones or cell phones or anything like yeah. that and you're waiting for people, yeah. that's what you did. And actually another time I was crank calling people because I was waiting for my jackass friend to come downstairs because uh, that's when I was a speed freak. So I always had to be doing something. And I was calling just random but numbers. None of it was ever like creative. Somebody... I recognize my voice. They're like, is this Andy Cowan? Uh, I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, what the hell is that? It's like a oh small in, living in small town, 50s, 1950s. My girlfriend in San Diego in 1991 or 1992, I had, a, I had a car phone, like actually in my car. Was it a convertible? 
No, but it was, was it before rabbit? they had. No, no, it was before. No, I have I have a good rabbit story. That's not good at all. But I'm going to tell it in a minute anyway. Um, it's not about hitting a rabbit, is it? No, no. I was uh, I was walking out of the Ralphs in Brentwood what, last time we did the show last week with a beer, and there's a dude, a sober dude, sitting in his Volkswagen Golf. Show? No, before the show, I, when I stopped and got that 18 pack. There's a dude sitting in his golf, ready to pull out, and there's a bunch of hammer chicks in an SUV next to him, and the girl leans out of her window, and she goes, Adios, rabbit, and the guy just super casually goes, it's not a rabbit, and just pulls it out, and, I was, and she was just out there stunned. Was I that, was like, that was weird and awesome. Was it a cabriolet? No, it was just a, a golf, but uh, what were we talking about again? <laughs> you were going to tell a story and uh, about, oh, about, rabbits? Your, about your car phone. Oh, so I had this stupid, pretentious car phone. Like it, you know, it was like in the middle, and you just make. You had a little cool antenna on the back. And of your nobody car. had nobody had cell phones that fit in your pocket at the time. There was like ninety one. And my girlfriend and I were having a lot of problems, and she ended up breaking up with me. And then depends on your pocket size. Yeah, exactly. Prefer. If your pocket could hold a briefcase with a battery that only lasted fifteen minutes, that cost three thousand dollars and twenty cents a, or uh, forty cents a minute. Um, so you mother. I had slowly over the course of a week worked myself back into her life a little bit, where we were at least communicating. And I was parked, I lived on the same street as she did, by the way, as well. I was parked in front of her apartment, and I was talking to her on the car phone. And it was a really nice, about 45 to an hour long, uh, hour minute, 45 minute to an hour long conversation. I shouldn't drink what we do. And then she goes, where are you? And I went, I'm at home. And then I leaned on my hook, on my horn. (laughs) And she just goes, you effing a-hole. And, uh. It was that was Rebecca, as a matter of fact. Where were you when 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 she San Diego? You? I see. Yeah, that was Rebecca. You met her, did I? Yeah, she's um. I don't know. She's I don't now a people. lesbian. Oh yeah, Mike's got like three or four ex girlfriends. Corano's got three or four ex. And they're all lesbians. Mike Catherwood uh, says he's listening to the show right now. Um, he said he was going to put it on when he gets home, and uh, and then he, he proceeded to say he likes to listen to things as he falls asleep. So I'm glad that we're helping him fall asleep. Our listeners are demanding. We take I would a be phone honored call. if he was really listening though, because this is a. Uh, uh, should I call the the crank call number that I called before? Sure. Oh, you, oh absolutely. They, they Why changed, not? They Why not? Their number, which is very upsetting. Hey, you're not on Love Line. What's happening? You're on Fluff uh, Router. Hi. My name's Oscar. Hey, Oscar, Oscar, what's going down? And uh, my question is. Um, Hold on. Hip hip hooray! It's terrible, Mike. Can't <laughs> wait for next week. <laughs> I know. I won't do this. I won't try to <laughs> laugh on the air either. Go ahead, really shouldn't be drinking. What's up, ma'am? Uh, I, I have this girlfriend, and we've been dating for like a, a year now. And um, what do you want like a trophy? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be a jerk. <laughs> so, uh, Don't like, apologize to Oscar. Yes. I enjoy boobs, and mm, you're the weird. Thing is, really? you, need to, you need to see a shrink. Most guys don't. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Oscar. He interrupts me. And, uh... Wait, wait. Like do you mean, like, you enjoy them as sexual objects, or you want to cut them off and make ashtrays out of them like a sicko? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, as in, like, I feel like my, my girlfriends are too small, and yeah. I actually want them to yeah. be bigger. How old are you? 18. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I think, uh, I feel like you should get another girlfriend with bigger boobs, then. Or start saving right now. Or... I don't know. What if she says she feels like your penis is too small? How would that make you feel? Look in the mirror, Oscar, and realize just yeah. how... Look at your boobs compared to hers, and I bet hers are bigger than yours. And uh, primal you're being. Uh, what is the attraction to big boobs? What, what is I the think natural it's, honestly, attraction? Is it I just because they can give more milk to I believe it's a mothering issue. Because uh, I don't like big boobs. I like medium-sized boobs. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, huge jugs. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I just thought of a great, uh, a great idea for you. There's a company. I don't know where they're located, but they make these things called the Real Doll, and they're six thousand dollars sex dolls. No, what about the other thing? That That's what I'm saying. Know. That company makes these boobs that fit over your boobs, your girlfriend's boobs, and they're ex- extremely realistic according to their website. So go to realdoll.com. Listen, man, you're 18, you're uh, a jackass who's into big boobs. Uh, yeah. if, if that's all you want right now, it's not like you're going to marry this girl. Uh, just move on to the next girl and find someone with, with big hands. That's good advice. That's what you like. All right, don't what lead, size vagina don't do you like? Don't lead on uh, this boogie board that you're dating. I like a vagina in a medium. Mm-hmm. Big, yeah. huge jugs. Drew likes them too big, too. Like I don't. Yeah, he does like them big, too. And uh, I don't like huge boobs. Drew would not appreciate us talking about his... Uh, his boob fetish? It's fervor for big boobs. All right, Oscar, good luck to your uh, your your boob search. I'm just keeping it real. Oh. You can hear Corolla at the end of that one going, oh. All right, so um, Another we should call. call let's call. Uh, let's hey, call you're a dude. fluffer nutter. <laughs> hey, welcome to fluffer nutter. What's going on? Not much. 
Well, then why did you call? <laughs> That's one of the worst. Hey, words. by the way, everybody, I apologize if I'm coming off as an a hole, but I'm just trying to like be. He's trying to be affable. Yeah, as, uh, Larry David. I, 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 I don't want to mean to be rude. Trying to be rude. affable. Trying to be affable. So seriously, why'd you call? What up? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're calling. Uh, oh, we can call it Doctor Drewless. Fluffernutters. Doctor Drewless is great. <laughs> Hey, this is Doctor Drewless. What's your call? What's your What's your question? Um, we'll We'll text him if it's really important. Patrick, and what? I was gonna say um, the whole thing, that conversation with the whole girls and the anal thing. Mm. Yeah. With me and my girlfriend, went there nine months. My girls love it. All right, congratulations. Quit bragging. <laughs> She's got a serious problem. Hey, then. you're on Doctor Drewless Fluffernutter Aftermath uh, Disaster. Hey, what's up? What hey, that? wait, real quick. Back to that other call. Hold on, just one moment. Um, right. What a jack! Why would that jackass call up and say something like that? Because we all want to do. It's a resp- it We all want to do kinky, weird things, call. but there's no one. No girl loves anal oh, sex. That's absolutely not true. I think it's all. I think it's in. The, there's a lot of girls out there that are, that like the freaky, freaky. And yeah, most they, of them they are like it in their and heads because they, they can't even feel. That's the what I mean. Anymore. They like it they in their heads, the, but the nobody button. wants something jammed up your butt. Yeah, they do. Obsessed with anal sex. Play the other two. Okay, let, I need to rephrase that because I because I'm not saying anal sex is a bad thing. I'm I love saying, anal sex and like some boyfriend. Just I love anal yeah, sex yeah. and I actually masturbate that way as well. And ironically, right. I, I masturbate. We should drop. Me too. I'm going to do that tonight. Right. In fact, I'm doing it right now. Okay. What were you going to say? No, but I, what 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 was the point of that jackass's call? Because he was calling because a, a, a kid called earlier in the show, uh, evidently who had something to say about uh, anal sex. What else? A lot of kids, they're like 15, and they're looking for an excuse to call the show. And I know, like, hey, but it, it makes no sense that, that, that you're going to call up with n- information that su- serves you know nobody. You guys call the show just to talk about their 12-inch dong? That's their whole point? Yeah, yeah well, what's you, the deal? You're right. They're not even right. smart enough to think, well, maybe it hurts girls. They just want to say yeah. it. No, you're, I, I bet you're right. I'm All right, not, why I'm are you calling fluff, the fluff or nutter? Good thinking. Good I, thinking. I, I think I'm on hold. Yeah. No, 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 you're here. You're on. Oh, I'm here. Yeah. I mean, you're on as much as you're going to be on tonight. So what's up? Oh, um, I had a, you guys, um, I recently broke up with my girlfriend and got with another girl, not because I broke up, but there just things didn't work out and I got with another girl uh-huh. and, uh, my ex-girlfriend hates her guts, but I don't want to lose her as a friend. Well, you got to lose her. Yeah. You should lose her as a friend. Anyone you've banged in the previous. Yeah. Place, too late. You got to too go. late. I, I don't I don't really uh, practice that at all. I'm friends with almost all my ex girlfriends. And so am I. <laughs> so we're both big hypocrites. <laughs> oh my gosh, but, um, that was the worst. <laughs> we're both like dumber loser audios. I'm friends with almost every one of my ex girlfriends. There's like a rule. But, like the girl that you all most recently though. banged, you can't talk with. Now you could talk now if you break up with the next girlfriend and there's a gap, there's a girl in between the two, then you can talk to the two ago. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what's so odd, can't though, talk is... To the last one, especially if there's any overlap, which there usually is. What's weird is, I've only had a few girlfriends in my life, and I never wanted to be friends and with them all turned lesbian. while we were girlfriends. And then, at, I, I mean, I didn't, you know, I don't while want a girlfriend. While you were girlfriends? While we were uh, dating. I didn't. I never wanted to be friends. Well, I mean, this girl was kind of like, you know, my first love, you know, and, and I really did, I was her friend for a long time before Yeah, we I, got, I got you, man. That, that, that's the weird thing for me, and I and I kind of... My argument is always this: like I, I like these people as people, and I spend much more time with them, not having sex with them, than with having sex with them. There's a lot more yeah. to it than just sex, and I don't want just because we're not going to have sex anymore doesn't mean that I, I shouldn't be allowed to have everything else or some of what else with them. But um, like I said, if they were the most recent person you banged before the new banger, uh, the new banger is not going to appreciate you talking to. You could talk to a well, girlfriend from two girlfriends ago. Uh, well, I, no, no, that's the thing: is the new banger is completely okay with it. It's just the ex that's kind of like oh i'm not sure if i want to be your friend anymore because of this that's because she still likes you yeah and she's gonna feel that way get, just give it some time yeah, it hurts and you know you're probably talking about the new one or yeah i have like, an ex-girlfriend who uh, has made demands that i have to hear about her uh her new boyfriends and stuff i'm like i, I just like how your advice was don't be friends with her i mean we're friends with our ex yeah i know we're we're we are, idiots we are, we are idiots. Uh, yelled at ourselves yeah we're, we're 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 dumb and we shouldn't be giving advice but thank uh, you for calling fluffernut or dr Drewless. uh Call back later. Fluffer Nutter, Dr. Drewless. I love that now. I don't know if I can say that, though. Fluffer Nutter. It doesn't roll off the tongue very I know. Smoothly. It's like we're doing a show called Fluffer Nutter. Hey, do you guys like jerky? Do you got a head injury or something? Do you guys yeah, like who beef does, jerky? Who doesn't like jerky? Well, I, I, guess th- I think I like it more than other times, but uh, I haven't had good jerky in a long time. But uh, do you think that place, Alien, girl. alien Jerky, Alien Fresh, on the and way to Baker. Vegas is good? Because I get that all the time, but I don't uh, know if it's good or not. I don't think it is. It, it, it's like, it's... 
It's it's the place to go now. It's yeah, the, the jerky fan. I like is uh, when I was a kid, I would get pepper jerky, but I find I that stuff repulsive now. The, the, the show to take this turn. The jerky t- down jerky road. Yeah, yeah, know. salmon jerky. You guys, we need to write down the name of the show so I can memorize it because I can't remember Fluffer Nutter Doctor Drewless. I don't think that's gonna be the name of the show. I re- you know what? It really is a fantastic it sounds like name bad of the show. Sign. It sounds like a porn. Fluffer Nutter Doctor Drewless. <laughs> It sounds just like a disease. Call like uh, the phone lines to Fluffernutters. I mean, we have to use Fluffernutters. So. Fluffernutter. So we're going to go to the Fluffernutters. We're eating Fluffernutters. Hey, Fluffernutter. I don't eat mayonnaise. Oh. What's happening? Oh, oh finally, we have, have a, we have a female caller. This is very exciting. Hey, you're calling uh, <laughs> Dr. Drew. Don't, don't you have a boing sound effect? <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Lena. Hi. Geneva. What's your name again? Lena. L-I-N-A. All right. Rudy! What's going on? <clears throat> okay, I'm a lesbian. I've been with nothing but girls. Did you since date Mike Carano at one? Oh, when you were 12. And did you date Mike um, my partner has been incarcerated for the past three years. I've never been with a man. I'm not disgusted by them whatsoever. Um, but lately, I cannot stop. I got a brand new phone. And, oh wow, I have internet on my phone. Ah! Right. Okay, I've been getting on all these porn sites but they're not like your average like less than porn sites or your because there's men in them porn sites. they're above average there's just like hardcore gangbangs or facials yeah. and I cannot stop I can't get off of them so my girlfriend's about to get out in jail in November wait what so first of all let's go back a minute what's she in jail for I'm sorry why is she in jail prior uh oh stupid stuff um narcotics well I know it's stupid yeah. stuff <laughs> She's a genius. She yeah. she wrote a st- a thesis and uh, they locked her up. <laughs> Goddamn yeah. Bush. He's not even the president. Whatever. Well, maybe and, she got incarcerated okay, while so Bush was. She's getting out. out. She's How long is she in out. for? She's been in for two years. She's getting out in November. Here's what I'm tr- I'm concerned. I wonder. You just wanted to make it crystal clear to us that you know you're not attracted to dudes under any circumstances. But now, th- so are, are you finding yourself attracted to some guys? Well, your problem. Yes. Yes, okay. and it's just so, like, it's not like a random guy, like, oh, I'm walking down the street, and I'm yeah. like, oh, wow, he's handsome. No, it's just like, the point is, like, all that massive, like, game things, and, like, all what that. What about, is, have, you tried to, have you tried to watch, like, a regular one-on-one porn? Yes, and it does it's, nothing for me. Wow. Yes. Um, it's just like, I don't think it's a fantasy thing, but I feel like she's going to get out of jail, and she's obviously going to want to be intimate. I don't think I could... I think How I'm long like, has she been yeah, in for? I'll pass. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like, on, be honest with us. So, she's been in jail for three years, and you haven't had sex with anyone else in that time? No, we've been together for 10 years. She's 20 years Holy older moly. than me, and I have never, no, I haven't. Ever since she got in country, I have not been with no male, no other female, nothing whatsoever. How old has she you? been in jail before? I'm 28. And she's 40. And she, has she been in jail before? Yeah, but uh, it'd be like uh, maybe a month or two. This is the longest she's ever oh, been. Oh, okay. Well, weekend. and have you been keeping correspondence with her and writing her? And yes, going to visit of course, her? of yeah, course. Yeah, Every yeah. weekend, go to church. And like, yes, of course. Go to church. Have you ever considered that maybe you picked a, a person that's not um, ideal? For yeah, exactly. Oh, of course, of course, definitely. But it's um. It, she's psychotic. I've tried to get away from her, and she just. Well, you know what? Back. You had a pretty good opportunity there with the three-year <laughs> yeah, three, incarceration. Yeah, that three-year gap that you could have moved anywhere you wanted, <laughs> and you go to visit her, and you're attracted to the male guards there, and not her. You know what's okay? So you're, you've just always don't been pick gay. her up. I think that'll be a pretty good indication that uh, you're 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 out. And so, get, you get know, a really weird, hardcore though, gangbanger to protect you. As I've had, I've had a couple <laughs> of friends that are lesbians that are in these crazy tumultuous relationships, and they cannot get out of it. And one is my ex-girlfriend. Who mm-hmm. will not break up with her? I mean, she's been breaking up with her girlfriend over and over and over, and then keeps taking her back, even though she's a raging alcoholic and she's extremely abusive. And mm-hmm. I don't. There's nothing I can do to help her now because we've talked and talked and talked about it, and she just keeps going back to her, and she just yeah. wants the abuse, and I don't understand it. Well, and I, don't, actually, I don't get it. The reason I I can't like just cut like the cord with her is that she had a child and she has nobody. She she has no mother, no nothing, and I guess it's no dependency. 
What Drew would tell you, uh, Lena, is that you have a lot of. Uh, this is Dr. Drewless, by the way. So Drew will not tell you this. Okay. Drew will tell you through Drew. Uh, is that you probably have a lot of childhood uh, trauma, and uh, you're, you're probably an addict. That's why you need the high levels of arousal. However, it could be because you just need the penis now, and that's why you're you're looking. You're making up for lost time all, all those uh, penisless years. And by the way, uh, so now you're watching the penis to wreak and havoc. But also, don't feel guilty if havoc if on, that's on turning you on. Faces and whatnot. Okay. Don't, don't feel guilty okay. because Main you're just thing, human. Though, is you need to get out of this uh, uh, convict relationship where she's 20 years older, you're no longer attracted to her because her labia is not big enough to act as a penis for you. But and wouldn't it be wouldn't it be a matter of like if I go out clubbing and I have the opportunity to cheat, if that if it presents itself, like wouldn't I be attracted to another female? Probably, but how old? Yeah, are you? I mean, I where do you live? You're out of the lesbian uh, lane at this point. You've, you've merged. Yeah. You where do you live? To a new lane. I'm sorry. Where do you live? Visalia. In Los Angeles. Visalia. Yeah, I was going to say... Uh, Hacienda Heights. Okay. La Puenta. <laughs> um, La Puenta. I just, she just threw me a curveball because it was too close. So I'm like, ah, I have no advice now. Is she the, what, what, what jail if is you would say, like, I'm in Albuquerque or I'm in New Jersey, I'd be like, just move over here. It's great over here. No. That's so what should here. I do? Should I just, like, she likes bangers, sign dude. up for, like, Swingers magazine? No. I, that's I, exactly I'm what like, we were going to say you should do. Like, hey, this is what I want. <laughs> what do you <laughs> want? I don't understand. What, uh, Melina... Lay out for us. What do you want? I just, I think I should get it out of my system. I should what do, do you... the whole hardcore thing, get okay. it out of my Helena, system. Helena, it's not going to be out of your Helena. system. That's going to be more in your system. No, what's, uh, what, well, what is your I'm ideal okay weekend? All right, let's say it's a long weekend. we got Labor Day coming up. you got three nights Which to go out. Which gangbang movie did do. you watch, though? No, these are just like, you, I get online and it's just like hardcore. Which porn uh, site do you go to? Which porn but site? That's the thing. It's not an actual porn site. It's just like I get in there and all these pictures start popping up and all these movies start popping up and I'm like, oh, I can't get enough of it. And what do you Maybe do while you're looking at that? Is really turned on by pop ups. Yeah. Know. She says yes. Yeah, but, it's just oh, like hardcore game bang. While she eats pop tarts, she gets aroused by just the images just popping up. She doesn't like to control it. She just sees a pop. I'm, up I'm confused as to what. So she, you're attracted She's to men. She's extraordinarily confused. But your girlfriend's getting out of the joint any day now. She's and, freaking uh, out. She's gonna want to have some sex. And I don't think I could do it. And I'm just like questioning: Is my sexuality after all these years just changing? Are you afraid of her by chance? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of her? No, 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 not at all. Oh, so, I have an answer I mean, for you. We're not, not qualified to take this call. We need oh, yeah, we're definitely not qualified, but thank you for calling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want to, uh, Lena. Yes. If uh, What are you talking about? Get it out of your system. Like, okay, I'm figuring I have till November. Should I just like... Till November? Yeah, she gets out in November. Should I just like, okay... I don't think it's a fantasy of mine. Do you think she's? Like, do you think I she's? Get it out of my system. Then what's out of your system? Do you need the gang penis bang. in she your system? She wants a gang bang. Do you want a gang bang? Is that what you're asking? Is that what you're talking about? Or do you just want to be with a guy? Do you, I think she no, just thinks that she needs no, to have some penis. No, I want the hard. I, I want the whole shebang. What is yeah. the whole shebang? She wants that sex like with a man. The entire town, as well as the farmers. You know, you know what? When you just said I want the whole shebang, you reminded me of those '70s ads for uh, Alka Seltzer. I can't believe I ate the whole thing, and the guy's stomach is all wow. wow. I don't remember that at all. Like all these people are like, I can't believe I ate the whole thing, and then they have to take Alka Seltzer. Is it a T-Rex song to the whole shebang or a Lou? I don't know. Song? I don't know. <laughs> it's in that movie. I don't, know, I don't even know how to spell shebang. Velvet Goldmine, awesome. I don't think it's a real word. All right, what is the whole shebang? Is it the whole shalong? Is it one shalong? Is it numerous shalongs? No, what is the multiple. shebang? Multiple. <laughs> Wait a minute. Penetration in Alina, every hole you want DP? You want it? You want airtight? You want to be airtight? Yes. The ripping and the tearing. The ripping saying? and the tearing. You would yes. you would bang Hito Rick if you could. Everything. The ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. Everything. Everything. Well, Everything. I think that you're possible. Just plugged in. Yeah. Have you ever been on medication? Are you manic? Uh, do you, no. Have no. You been diagnosed no. I have to anything? admit that I just got kind of a bone, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm trying to be professional here, but I'm. I'm like. Yeah, I just got kind of a boner. Weird. <laughs> well, and you've been and you've been in this relationship for ten years. Yes. So you were eighteen when she was thirty-eight. Yes. Yeah, you're pretty repressed, I would say. Uh, you've been repressed for the last. 10 Thank years God you're doing the math here because I wasn't <laughs> going to be able to do it. Uh, we are not qualified. I, I said I want, once again to say that we're not qualified. My my recommendation would not be to go out and uh, and do the whole shebang unless yeah. the whole shebang. And I'm, I'm being serious here. If you're going to do it. 
at least uh-huh. profit a little bit off it. I mean, because the whole shebang well, would also involve a, the that's camera. That's absolutely ridiculous to say that because then she's going to be her self esteem is going to be in the gutter. I think if you're going to do it, you should be really careful so you don't accidentally get pregnant. Okay. Or an no, yeah. no, who, don't don't do the whole shebang. The whole shebang's bad. The whole shebang's no, out. You know what? She this. Helena has needs that need to be satisfied, and you're trying to deter her. It sounds her like from, she's trying to fit ten years of. of it sounds to me like she wants to feel loved and wants to have sex with a real man. Do you know how long ten years of penis not, is? Not, not, none of us are that, but uh, Mike's trying know. to hook up with. Uh, there's a bug in here. There's a bug in here. Yeah, it's a moth. It sounds it's like she needs a poisonous. Three dong it's night. poisonous moth. <laughs> three dong night. It's one of my favorite boring bands from the '60s. Next caller, please. <laughs> now you're fantastic, and you have this very sexy. Lena, voice. call back when um. When one of the doctors... I know, we'll call back when there's a real guy that knows something. You guys have a great night. Thank Thank you for calling. Call back. Bye-bye. Call back after you do it. Wow, all the calls are gone. We killed them all. We're boring people. Well, uh, that's uh, it for Fluffernutter this week. We've got to cut the show what? down. We've got to okay. cut it in half. No. It's in gotta half? Be, if yeah, anybody's still listening, uh, Dude, there's like 30 I people in the chat room right now listening. Ooh, 30! Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I think it's fantastic. You're my 30 favorite people on the planet. There's way more than that. If there's only thirty, if there's thirty in the chat room, there's probably fifty listening. It's probably right about which is about thirteen hundred and fifty less than follow me on Twitter. You know what? Um, we should. You, your Twitter's not bad, by the way. Considering you don't have a, a media outlet. And considering I'm not a celebrity. Now. Yeah. The uh, I think part of that like is fourteen hundred. It's mostly due Remember to people just like, like less than a year ago. We were doing. We were up in Death Valley. Yeah. And don't say it's mostly mattress companies. That's always your go-to. No, it's not. It's but most of my followers now came from like other, like Jay Moore. Like recommends me a lot, That's and true. um, you know, there's other like celebrities like Joe Rogan and but stuff. Remember, and just last uh, what was it, December? Yeah, December fifteenth. December fifteenth. Uh, you and I were in Death me. Valley, and you were doing the uh, your first ever live yep. performance. Yep. And uh, you, <laughs> one of the funnier things I have video of it on my iPhone is you were talking about your Twitter followers, and you you claimed that you to have three hundred more than you did or something, right? You said like, uh, you know, my six hundred Twitter followers, yeah. and I found yeah. out half of them are mattress companies. And it turns out now you have more than double your fake number. Oh, this is probably boring mm-hmm. to everyone, but the number that you faked and lied about and then looked right at me and realized that I knew how yeah. many followers you had and then you got all I'm trying to be too honest when I do those shows, even though I've only done three. But uh, you don't want to tell lies. Hey, by the way, if You've you want to follow I've done two us. two of the three. I've seen two of the three. I know. I'm honored by that, too. I'm doing another one in Irvine. I'm like, a, I'm like a Mike Carano stalker. I'll be in Irvine doing my when unique show. When? Um, it was supposed to be in a couple of weeks, and I canceled that to move it. It's probably going to be the heads up. like six or seven weeks from now. Is it going to be uh, another weekday? Yeah, it's going to be a Monday I, I'm night. I'm done taking nights off. I know, you can't do it. Yeah. Um, but if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's uh, Hot Sexy 17-Year-Old Surfer Girl. And uh, that's Why my... would you name yourself that? Are you looking for... Uh... I don't know. I just thought it was a good name. It flowed. Yeah? It flowed. It flowed. Is it Because I would think that a guy would come up with that name is looking for old perverts. And it's weird that what is, you're turned What is our Twitter, Twitter, Twitter names, though? Is it, my, is it just at Mike Carano, or is it something else? Are you, retarded? you don't know your Twitter name, Are you but it's just the at thing at and my name, right? No, it's at McGillicuddy McGee, Mike oh, Carano. Oh, at that's Fluffernutter. Fluffernutter. We should get that. Oh, quick! Can you get Tyler, that get on Fluffernutter. Let <laughs> me we'll check it out. Uh, at MikeCarano.com or MikeCarano.com. Wait, no, at MikeCarano. MikeCarano.com. C A R A N O is my website, and there's a Twitter button on there. I don't know why I'm fishing for followers. I have nothing to promote. If you're a mattress company, and you like. Yeah, if you want to, pr- if you want to promote your craft, I do have plenty to promote. Yes, you do. I don't know. Like what? Actually, I don't. I, don't, I have this show. How long till we wrap this up? Because I have to pee oh, and really bad. Pee. Grab me a beer while you're there, would you? Okay. Yeah, yeah we got we got ten minutes. Where are the beers? Wait in the fridge. Yeah. Where's the fridge? Uh, the fridge is in really? the kitchen. Really? Where's the fridge? It's in the kitchen. Has this guy never been here before. Uh, that cynicism in your voice, Tyler. It's it's it's, it's cutting. It's actually, it's, it's sinisterism. Cutting. It's uh. Tito Rickism. So what was I saying? To my the ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. It's nefarious. You, your voice sounds nefarious. Dude, how awesome was when? Oh, Mike... go ahead. I'm sorry. No. No, go ahead. No, how please. awesome After was it when Mike? I was gonna say go watch my goddamn fucking video, uh, which is uh, is still out there on YouTube, and uh, my star of the video is not pleased with its numbers. So just to appease him. Wow, he's a little prima donna. A little prima donna, is he? yes. Yeah, no, people... he's he's not upset. He just he continues to look at like uh, the biggest hits of the day on YouTube and says they're not funny. Why are people watching these things? And I have to agree with him. I mean, most of the shit on YouTube is awful. Like you, if you watch the highest rated stuff on YouTube, ugh, really, that's what you guys want to look at. Stanley's been whining in here for like the last like forty minutes. Who has Stanley? So if who... you were videotaping that and we put it on YouTube, I bet it would get more it hits. Prob- and... Stanley cries would probably be fifty thousand in one day. We got to do Stanley sings. 
just a quick little 15 second video because we can make Stanley sing. And I would do it more often, but I can't tell if Stanley's being tortured or if he actually enjoys to sing along. I think there was a point though where you just decided you couldn't, you didn't really care because yeah, the outcome is so funny. It's so entertaining. So we're we gonna say what you like it when Mike does what because he's coming. What were the chances that I had the miracles thing queued up and he said name your child miracle? Yeah, I thought you were pretty quick on that. That was no, I wish I was that fast. Yeah, if like if you were a sound drop uh, whiz, you would put that on your reel. That would have been my. So it's not a good sign that all the calls are uh, dead. There was uh, some girl who was trying to call. She was like, "Please answer my call." Like she wanted to talk to call us. Call up right now. And I was like, I'm not screening the calls. We're just answering them blindly. And we never got to her. Actually, you know what? I think that they cut the calls off after 1 o'clock. What? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it switches over to Dennis Miller. Which is a fun little story in itself. Uh, for those of you who are still hanging on here in the last few minutes. Um, the other morning, I wake up. And Tyler wakes up. And producer Ann wakes up. Thank you very much, Mike. To a, Mike, you're going to enjoy this. Corona, you're going to enjoy this, hey, this, um, this, this quick story. Yep, yep, all right. Do your, do your tagline. Hip, hip, hooray. God, you know, I can't, I got to stop laughing. I hate, when I listen to podcasts and people are laughing. Not when, well, not when Bill Burr laughs, it's the best part No, of he's, the show. Awesome. Oh. he's awesome. He's awesome. He is so, oh, hey, by Jesus. the way, oh, I know oh, you're not. Jesus. Um, if you guys are in LA and you want to see some great comedy shows, they're both, they're all sold out, but I'm going to plug them anyway. No, I'm not going to plug them. Louis C.K. is on the improv on Friday night and uh, tomorrow night is Have John you seen his new Oliver. show? No, it's but he's, awesome. His stand-up is ridiculous. He's doing two shows on Friday night. Listen here, sons of cocks. Just added. I was in the middle of a story. Lay it on me. <laughs> that's, that's his catchphrase. From yep, yep, all right. So uh, uh, we wake up to emails saying uh, it was like a forwarded next email. Next week I'm going to go with Ooga. That's my catchphrase next week. Okay, Kuga. Do your eyes pop out of your head and your tongue rolls out of your mouth? <laughs> Like that wolf and all the cartoons. <laughs> you guys remember that from Seinfeld? All right, so, Puckers, listen. Uh, we wake up uh, to emails from the morning crew here at uh, Westwood One saying, uh, pretty much pointing the finger, but it start, the email starts off with, like, I don't want to point blame at anyone, but do you know anything about this? And we're the only people copied on the email, so they're pointing the email finger directly at us. Uh there was some red sticky substance on the ground in the studio, and now my sneakers are all sticky. And it's like, from who? From the morning crew. I'm not naming names, but it's just this is what you got to deal with if you work in radio. If you work in TV or you work in uh, pretty much anywhere else. Which morning crew comes in this studio? Stop trying to figure it out. I'll tell you as soon as these mics are back. My God. But the, the host is not even in here. It's just the, his little lackeys, like you know his Andersons and Tylers of the world. But uh, they found some... A very small amount of red, uh, red, red substance, red powder on the ground. I know it was a small amount because uh, pictures were taken and included in said e- email. What was it? What was the red substance? It was Kool Aid. Who a little bit of Kool Aid? I'm guessing because Reggie was yeah. out there and Reggie's our guard, and I think maybe it was him who did it. Was it Red Matter from Star Trek? No, I suggested that maybe Doctor Drew is leaking, and then I was going to check in with his manufacturer to see if uh, what the problem. Yeah, was. the Doctor Drew 2000. <laughs> That's that's the uh, that that's the the point of my whole story. I don't know. There wasn't really a point. Was so like, did it call? Was this yesterday and it happened this morning or? Uh, it happened yesterday morning. The best part about it that Anderson left out was that his reply email said, "I don't know who did that. Use a paper towel on your sneakers." That's great. I was just gonna say, why don't you just say, "Why don't you clean it up?" I mean, who would do that? They took. Well, you know who would do it because they're know, the ones I who hate, sent you the information. I hate them so much. I hate these people so much. I wonder if people understand. Is this the first time? And like we, here's the thing: we have no contact with these people, no direct contact, because we come in here like 12 hours after they leave. They come in here like three hours from right now. So you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. we never see them, but they hate us. They hate us, and they blame everything that goes wrong: air conditioning. They claim well, that it smells like urine, dog yeah. urine, and they blame it on because they know Stanley's being here because they they have spies who listen to the show or whatever. So the main guy is not. I'm trying to hey, figure out who this the is. The main guy, and you know him really well, but the main guy uh, does it from. It doesn't. Anyways, enough of that. But it just the, the pettiness of people. The people are so goddamn petty. I hate yeah. people. I hate people a lot. I hate people too. God, uh, I just hate human beings. And so do I. I. You can't. But the ones that I love, I love so goddamn much. Yeah. Kind of like my theory. I was talking about on Film Vault the other day. Like, uh, I really think that this, there's the same amount of racism as there was back in the absolutely, days. absolutely. But I think that instead of spread out thin, where everyone's a little bit racist. I think there's a few people it's who compiled. are very racist. Well, you know, I don't think racism is all that bad. Click, we're off the air. Um, no, I don't think... Uh, <laughs> that would be great if we... I don't think... <laughs> I think everybody... No, I, did, I don't mean that. I, what I meant to say was I don't think... Or I do think everybody has a little bit of racism in it because there's nobody that's non-judgmental across the board. Well, what is racism? I mean, board. that just means that we, we recognize that, that 
Well, to me, racism... That's a black couch right there. To me, racism be, is just... It's recognition with, with yeah, the eyes. But I think I think the actual definition would be like you're... You're, you're, you're compiling a You hate somebody group. because of a certain physical characteristic. Is it even hating? I believe it probably no, is. No, because you can be called racist for saying all black... Or, or most black people are good athletes. That would yeah, be, You'd be called yeah. a racist there. That's not hating a black person. You're, not you're right, a no racist means. and... No, you're right. You're right. What is that? That's yeah. You're a part. racist and you can go to hell. But the people that I the people oh, that Barilla. I've known right. in my life, and of course I've made racist, horrible jokes and stuff. But the people that I know in my life who are the biggest racists are the ones that act like they're the. Oh yeah, yeah, they're they the act, ones that are most offended. Yeah, here's, that's here's what it thing. is exactly. They're here, the ones that are most offended, but they are the biggest racists I know. Here's my thing. I love to yell out. All here's colors. my thing. But if you, if you think that racist like a racist joke is funny, chances are you're not that racist. You know I, I, mean? I think some racist jokes are hilarious, but right. I also, you know what, on the, on the, on another note is I also think when people make a good joke about Nambla, which I think is a thousand times worse than racism, raping little kids is a mil- racism is nothing compared to rape or real crime. You what pussies if, what that if, can't take a joke, you know, eh, wah, wah, wah. everyone's what, racist. What, um, but what if they're raping, uh, what black happened children? to me? Why did I get so angry? All like, turn your radio off. No, but here, I think. All Thank jokes are that. funny. I thought the I thought the All jokes, jokes about the, are funny. I think the jokes about the space shuttle crashing, crashing were funny at, at, at one point Too in time. Soon. Too soon. I think um I think I think racist. I don't think racist jokes are funny, but I think when a joke is funny and it's racist, it's hilarious. No, and that, the here, shock value of it is what's funny about it. When you throw some, when you say something that's shocking because it's so jokes, ridiculous. If you're a racist, and you don't laugh. You say, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You laugh, you laugh, you laugh at it if you recognize how absurd it is. That's what makes yeah. it funny. Uh, a real that's racist I mean. would yeah. be like, oh, that's true. What's funny about that? Yeah. I'd be like, you know, the sun's going to come up but tomorrow you know morning. Now that's I wish I funny. wouldn't have said what I just said because I'm thinking, of, I'm, thinking of different, I'm thinking of different racist jokes and jokes that are so out of out of the ballpark crazy. Those are the ones I think are funny. The ones that are really just racist and not very funny you know are actually pretty horrible. If we offensive. had a racist in the studio right now who would just be giving these examples of these jokes because we can't do them. We're just talking we about could, them. But if we could just like one. throw to the racist guy who was sitting next to us and like and then we say like, like that joke right there. You know what I mean? And he, Wake he'd up. He drink all he drink all of our beer. You guys, thank you very very much for listening to us. I hope the show is getting better and I hope it gets Fluff better next week. Fluffer Nutter. Dr. Drewless. And we can't, uh, we can't, we can't stay on this late. I can't do this time. And what? feel free to uh, people love it. I d- I dig it too. I wish we could stay up all night. Really. I mean, I mean physically, <laughs> I physically can't. But um, no, I can't. I have insomnia. Uh, if, you, if you guys want to just hang out and talk, um, I'll give you my phone number. <laughs> it's three one zero nine nine five. It keeps going. It doesn't just shut up at one fifteen. <laughs> oh. so you should not say the hey, aren't you the guy that got mad at me for putting your phone number on something at one point in time? And my phone number is actually 714. But you can uh, send me a message at Twitter, M-I-K-E-C-A-R-A-N-O. Uh, I think mine's broken. I think we're off. We're off. All right. Bye. Good night. The Rippin' and the Terran. The Rippin' and the Terran. The Rippin' and the Terran. The Rippin' and the Rippin' and the Rippin' and the Rippin' and the Terran. The Rippin' and the Terran. The Rippin' and the Terran. The Rippin' and the Terran.